Hi, this is Nellie's Farm. It is Tuesday, October 24th, 2023. I was picking some weeds around my self-heal herbs. And I accidentally picked out some of the herbs. So the old me would have tossed them away with the weeds. But I decided to take the little guys and put them over here. I did see a little snake down here. I don't see him now. I think he might have been a little ground rattler. He was small. Which is, I believe, a pygmy rattler. I'm still learning about these. But I came back with my phone. And he's gone. So he's around here somewhere. So I do have to kind of be careful. Everything grew up a lot when I was working all those hours. So things kind of did their own thing out here. <laughs> Some of that's good. I had things grow on their own that I didn't even expect. So, I pulled these little guys out by accident. Self-heal is an amazing herb. It is an antiviral. They call it self-heal for a reason. It heals many things. You can do your own research. And I apologize because I have to hold the phone and do this at the same time. So, it's probably not turning out to be the best. So... Once I got the self-heal growing, which I started in a pot, after that, after I got kept it alive, which I'm challenged to do that sometimes, this doesn't come naturally to me, it just grew like crazy and spread. So, these shouldn't have any problems, and um, they should come back after the winter is over. I am putting some in some, making some tinctures, putting some in vodka. If you do that with a combination of other herbs, you make it a lot stronger. There we go. Now I will have more. The big challenge for me is getting them going, but once they start, they just will grow like crazy. I'm going to put some fertilizer around them, too, and water them good. We're having a drought here in northeast Alabama. So, it's been a challenge to keep a lot of these plants alive. Here's another, and I'll figure out what to do with this one. I'm going to put it somewhere. Just wanted to share this with you. I try to use every little thing that I can and recycle everything I can. I got these buckets. When I worked at Walmart three years ago, a lot of roses came in them at the store. And they were going to throw them out after Valentine's Day. There was like a hundred or two hundred. I asked the manager if I could take these home. And he said, sir. So I brought, I filled the Jeep with so many. I brought them home, punched holes in the bottom. And voila, I've used them for so many things. Those are potatoes right there. So I just wanted to share this. It doesn't take much money to grow your own food and herbs. You've got to be clever, creative, and reuse things, recycle things. You can take pallets to make beds, wood, like, like we have done here, old wood. You can find that for free. So just wanted to share this little video with you. I hope you're having a great week. Thanks for watching.